a few methods for creating a door in Pro Builder. Um, so let's say you have a level and you're building it out with cubes. I'll create a new cube using the Control K shortcut. In face mode, select a face, drag it up to about where I want the door height to be, and then holding Shift, drag up again, creating an edge loop right here, which we'll then use to create the top of the door. So again, grab that face, holding Shift, click and drag, and you'll here you'll see I'm snapping it, holding Control key, then holding Shift again, we'll create the left side of the door, well, stage left. Select the bottom face, holding Shift again, and now if you hold the V key while dragging, it will snap to the nearest vertex that your mouse is at. So that's a quick way to get your vertices lined up evenly. Okay, so let's say you have something a little more complex, like a wall already in place. I'll just quickly create what might be something in your level. Say you have Imagine this is a room and there is a another room over on the side you need to get to. If you select an edge and then use the select edge ring, you can then connect those edges, creating an edge loop. So we'll create one edge loop, do the same thing, holding Alt-R for edge ring and Alt-E to connect those edges. Do the same thing over here to create the top of the door. And then selecting this face, you'll hold Shift to drag through and hold V again to snap to the vertex on the other side. So now these two faces are aligned with one another. You can go ahead and just delete those. There's two more faces created on the bottom. Select those, delete them. And now you'll notice if you grab this face and move it around, these vertices are no longer connected. The way to fix that is to open up vertex mode and go into weld vertices. So there you have it. Okay, so imagine you have a room like you might have created in the uh, Doom tutorial where they use the invert base method to create rooms. So imagine this is your level. You want to create a door, say, over here. Same sort of method as the previous one. Select these two edges, connect them, creating a new edge. Select these two faces, connect them. Move your door about where you want it. So if you select both of these and move them around, you can move along that face there. With these two edges still connected, selected, excuse me, hit connect. Move your door about where you want it to be. And then same method. Grab this door, push through holding the shift key. And now there's no room over here, so we'll create one. Uh, holding shift again, so let go, so it's got this little door jam area. Then holding shift to extrude again, create another face. Grab these faces. I'm going to shift uh, extrude using the scale tool now. So that moves those faces out. And then selecting these top faces. I'll shift extrude again, this time holding V to snap to the top of the other room here. Now if you're clicking through and you're not being able to click through uh, invisible faces, so it's doing this, just toggle off um, select hidden. Otherwise you'll select the, the faces of the back face. Okay, uh, if you have any questions, um, I'm on the forums. Feel free to drop by and ask questions. Thanks.